I'm going to do a meal prep for me and the baby. Did you see her face, honestly? Oh my God. <laughs> last quite a while in the fridge. It should last about a month or two. Welcome back. This is just going to be a day in the life vlog. I have a few things that I wanted to catch you up on. I do need to get a fair amount of stuff done today. So I thought, why not vlog it and take you along with me? I needed to, will she let me get anything done? I don't know. Oh, let's just get into the video, shall we? Vicky, do you want? You've got, you've got a few different ones. Mm, why don't we stick with, why don't we use one that mummy opened already? You want a melt away stick? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do a meal prep for me and the baby. So I don't necessarily meal prep as in like put them all in containers and eat the same thing every single day. I used to do that back in the day when I was like really into my exercise and I can't do that anymore. I cannot eat the same thing every single day. It is boring, it takes the fun out of food and it isn't sustainable for me. Um, you know, I wanna change things up every day. John might be here some days and he doesn't want to eat that. We like eating together for the social aspect. We may go out and stuff like that. So that's not what I do anymore. What I do now is I meal prep certain bases. So I'll have bases of food ready so that I can throw together different meals at any point in time. So I'll do a bunch of vegetables. I'll normally do a source of protein. So today I'm gonna do chicken. I'm going to do, what else are we doing today? I don't even remember. What did we buy the other day? What are we doing today? Let's just, let's just get it out. Um, okay, so got my mind, it's about me again. Yes, I wanted to also do two different sauces. I'm going to try for one with the baby. I want to make a beetroot hummus. So that way when I go for lunch, like I'm sitting here and, you know, running lack of time because of the baby, I'm not making, you know, vegetables. I'm not making pumpkin. I'm not doing all of that, that prep work. It's already done. So that way I can just put spinach in a bowl, put the protein in a bowl, put like a packet rice or like whatever I want in, put some like fresh vegetables with the sauce and I'm done. That is the goal. So to save time, I even bought my pumpkin chopped up, but we'll need to do this. 
So we'll put the vegetables on first and then that way they can put in the oven while I do my sausages. Okay, so you want to spread them out evenly. I might have to do two trays of this because it is quite large, the amount that I put on and it's taking up space. So we'll do two trays. With the baby now eating uh, like a mix of puree and baby led weaning, it um, really helps me if I have all of this prepped as well. So for lunch, I can just give her pieces of what I eat. Um, and I know that the vegetables have already been cooked prior. Well, the base of the vegetables anyway, you know, I can always cut up tomato, cucumber and stuff like that. Um, and for green vegetables like Chinese cabbage or asparagus, I can just quickly whip that up on the stove and it takes no time at all. Um, and that way I can ensure that we're eating healthy because I've noticed the days that I don't have this prepped that I'm always going for like cereal or just like really basic packet soups and stuff like that. And I just feel bad and I just am starting to feel like I have no energy and just not in a good space physically or mentally basically because of that. I'm just gonna put on some garlic powder and some olive oil. The next thing I'm gonna do is make my cauliflower and put that in the oven with the other vegetables. And I'm just gonna put some fresh garlic on this and some olive oil. I am then going to poach my chicken or boil it on the stove. Then the only thing I have to do is the sauces. Then we can put our lunch together. Do you want a strawberry? So this one's decided she's not gonna um, sleep. So this morning she was up from 4 a.m. which is really unlike her and let me get you a strawberry and I've put her down twice but she's just rejecting sleeping at the moment um she's pulling on her ear she's pulling on her ear she's pulling on her what ear are you pulling on her right ear so I'm keeping an eye on that she doesn't seem to be in any pain except she is pulling on her ear so I have to keep an eye on that because I didn't think of anything I'd rather do today than go to the doctors. Lucky me. All right, so I'm going to put some oil on these and some garlic, some fresh garlic. The sauces, now I'm on a race against time because the longer I sit here, the more snacks she eats and in turn chucks on the ground. So, yes. You want more food? You do! <laughs> so for my chicken, I'm going to boil my chicken um, so it is like really nice and easy to pull apart. And I'm going to cheat. So I'm too impatient to wait for my water to boil, plus she's about to lose it. So I'm going to pre-boil the water. Get a saucepan. This is so dirty, girl. For the next recipe, so for my beetroot hummus, I am going to need two cooked beetroots. Now, I couldn't actually get the pre-made ones at the supermarket, and I didn't want to buy canned ones. So I wanted fresh ones, so I have peeled these, and I'm going to pop them on now. Yes, we're good. So let's just pour this in. Oh, the colour. So I'm now going to turn my chicken on and that will go on for 10 minutes. 
Okay, next I'm going to do the beetroot hummus. The two beetroots are already on the stove. They're peeled and boiling now. So that will take about half an hour. So it's a perfect time to get everything else organized. I'll put the ingredients that you need up on the screen now. And I will get started with the rest of them while the baby is still in good humor. Okay, so first of all, you're going to want to get your food processor out. Grab your can of chickpeas and give them a good rinse under running water. Once you have that in the food processor, grab your two tablespoons or heap tablespoons of tahini. I have used Hold Organic. Put a pinch of salt in. And add your olive oil. You can also use coconut oil, avocado oil, although that is a bit strong, that one, but any oil. None of this recipe I am actually measuring out okay. because that's just what I like to do and because I can't be bothered to wash up any more utensils than I already have to wash up. So the estimates are there. The dash of milk is just to keep that liquidy consistency of it so it doesn't get so thick because um, I want it more like a sauce. So I've chosen coconut milk because I have a can open already, um, but you could choose almond milk. You can really choose any, uh, any milk you damn want, really, let, let's face it. But this is just what I do. And coconut milk's healthy for you and it's got really a lot of healthy fats. So that's why we're going with this one. So I would say so I just put in like three heaps teaspoons. Is that a taste? No, sorry, not teaspoons, tablespoons. That's like a dessert spoon. Anyway, we'll taste it at the end. And now for my half a lemon. And the only thing that I need to put in is the beetroots when they're ready. Okay, half a lemon. Ugh. Okay, half a lemon. So the beetroot's in, good. Now we will do this and we're done. We are done. So we can have some lunch. Mummy's gonna turn this on. Mummy, sorry. I hate scaring you. You're my baby. You're my beautiful girl. I never want to hurt your feelings. Come here. Come here. You are a pig either. You are in a mess. Look at you. You are a mess. You got pumpkin everywhere. Uh, what did you do? Did you eat? Oh, you're a pig. I like it. You're very cute. Oh my goodness, you're a mess. Look at you. You're very cute though. I feel, whoa, I'm zoomed in. I feel really, really bad. <laughs> 
She's really good with the um, vacuum cleaner. So I turned that on. I don't have to warn her or anything. And she's really, really good with it. So I just assumed it was the same. But did you see her face? Honestly. Oh, my God. I, I felt so bad. But how funny was that face? All right. I'm going to pop her in this TV room. Um, quickly put Coco Melon on in here up loud. So then she will not hear it. It's a great idea, I may say so myself. Where's the remotes? You play with them for a minute. Ouch. Make sure we get... Oh, that smells so good. You can really smell the beetroot in that. Okay, done. I've just put the sauce in this jar. So that will last quite a while in the fridge. It should last about a month or two. Um, that's a guesstimate, by the way. I have no idea, but I'm assuming. And yeah, that was really nice. So that can go on my lunches. And next week I want to make a different type of one so I can alternate. So I'm just not having the same thing every day. So now we're just gonna make like a nourish bowl for lunch. And um, I think the baby just taste tested all of this. So I don't think she actually will want any more food. I said, I hate you, guess I was lying. Gonna miss all of the fighting. Whoa, lunch is finally ready. Baby is down for sleep. And this is what it looks like. So once you have all the base cooked, like I did today, and the sauces, that is so easy to put together. But like this then. Hello and welcome to baby playtime. I am going to miss this little one. I'm actually going away this weekend with to visit my sister in Canberra. So initially she was going to come with Oi! with me and um yeah, you're so cute. You cute. Initially she was going to come with me with John. And we're going to go as like a family. But she can't actually survive the car trip. Like as soon as I put her in the car, she loses it. She screams, like she, she won't tolerate going anywhere. Going anywhere, even to the shops is like hell on earth. So I just said to John, she's not going to last. Like she can't drive five hours. There's no way she can drive five hours and she won't sleep in the car. So the, I just couldn't do it. I'm, I wasn't going to risk or I couldn't risk you know, her well-being um, to go. So I said we can't go. And then I thought about it and she's moving away next year to Darwin. And I really felt, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> no, you don't need that. Here. I know, sweetie. Come on. Let's stand up then. Would you like mommy to stand up? Oh, whoa. I just said to John, this will like, She's moving away next year to Darwin for two years. So, you know, I would still like to go and spend some time with my nephew. We weren't going to drop, you know, $1,000 on flights as well. It, you, it, it just isn't practical to do that for, you know, one of the, like, less than two days, which is what we're going to be staying over the weekend. So, kind of long story short, I said to John, I'll just go. I asked John if I could go. So, you're going to spend time with Daddy? Huh? I asked Johnny if you could take you, which of course he can. Yes. Um, so she's spending time with dad this weekend, which is nice.
so that's my first workout. I stopped working out when I was 21 weeks pregnant. 21, yeah. I had, was it 21 or 31? I think it was 31. Anyway, I ended up getting um, like really bad breathing difficulties and just suffered a little bit unusual from my last two pregnancies. So I stopped working out and I was getting a pain, which ended up being a hernia later on down the track, but I was getting a pain, like a stitch pain. So I ended up stopping exercising. That was the first exercise, the first workout that I've done since having her. And I only kept it in like the hypertrophy, um, you know, phase. Like I, I only kept it in the hypertrophy sets. You know, I basically, I just wanted to do high reps so that I could get my muscles used to um, being worked like that again. I ended up doing, I did one exercise for each uh, muscle and one, two sets of each exercise. So that's enough for me because I already feel like my arms are like a bit jelly at the moment. Okay, what are you gonna eat for dinner, Kingsley? Me, what is this? Little tasties for self-feeding. I think this is marvelous. Marvelous! What do you think? Oh, okay. All right, your dinner is basically served, sweetie. Do you, you liking it? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful and a mess. We're gonna say goodbye to you now because we are heading upstairs to put Kingsley in the bath because dad's not here. Dad is still at work, which is unusual, but that means it's just me and you, princess. So we are going upstairs to put Kingsley in the bath and then hopefully put her to bed. And hopefully you will stay there for 11 hours at least. You hear me? You hear me? See you in the next video.